hard. Little Jeanette, who was the oldest man in the Bible? Methuselah. How old was it when he died? 969. Oh, what kind of tea is this? Stand to attention and praise the Lord. <laughs> I mean, I'm Padland. Now it's time for the World Service Mission Report. Come on, Jeanette. Pad and pencil. Bring me that tea. Tanganyika. You write down who's dead. Like most people, I lived for a long time with my mother and father. My father liked to watch the wrestling. My mother liked to wrestle. She was in the white corner and that was that. She hung out the largest sheets on the windiest days. She wanted the Mormons to knock on her door. At election time, in a Labour town, my mother put a picture of the Conservative candidate in the window. She had never heard of mixed feelings. They were friends and they were enemies. Enemies were the devil. Satan is the ruler of this world. Sex. Never let a boy touch you down there. Why are you pointing at me knees? Slugs. Slime and fornication. Next door. Drink and fornication. Get that dog on a lead and come up the coppice with me. Now. Friends were the dog. God. Amen. Amen. Jesus is here. The novels of Charlotte Bronte. And after dinner, I'll read the next episode of Jane Eyre to you. Did Mr. Rochester burn to death? No, but he should have done. Slug pellets. God gave us poison for a reason. And me? At first. I had been brought in to join her in a tag match against the rest of the world. She couldn't have children, so she did the next best thing and arranged for a foundling. Yes, that was me. I got you from the Lord and I've given you back to the Lord. You'll be a missionary when you grow up. You'll save the heathen. Hey, what are you doing? Go, come out of that shop. It won't cost money. They always give me sweets. I dare say they do. Temptations. No, smarty. You're not to go in that shop. Jamie, Jamie, come here where I can eat you. Two women living like man and wife. Have they no shame? Oh, now look what you've done. They're coming out, and she wears the balaclava. Has she no pride? What kind of a woman wears a balaclava? No, thank you, thank you very much. Goodbye. She doesn't want a banana bar. God forgive you. Why does God have to forgive them for banana bars? They deal in unnatural passions. Do you mean they put chemicals in their sweets? Just keep walking straight, Ed. Don't look back. Remember Lot's wife. She got turned into a pair of salts. Sodom and Gomorrah. Nearly at the top now. Oh, look at that. The whole of Accrington spread before you. There's the market. There's the viaduct. There's the factory bottoms. There's the cemetery. I've got us a plot. Still, when the Lord comes back, and it can't be long now, we won't be in cemetery. The whole place will be blown to bits. What'll happen to us? First of all, we'll be under the stairs where I keep the tinned food. Then an angel will come and liberate us, and we'll go to our mansion in the sky. And none of your clothes will be second hand. Your socks are wet. You don't worry about the weather when you've got Jesus. Did I ever tell you the story of the Alleluia Giant? Yes. A freak of nature, eight feet tall, shrunk to six foot three by the prayers of the faithful. Can we go home now? Oh, I'll never forget when I found the Lord. Look over there, under the viaduct. It's foggy. On that spare land they call Ellison's Tenement. That was the glory crusade. The pastor said, who wants to give their life to Jesus? Well, I up my hand and I got a free pot plant, Lily of the Valley. The next night, your father put up his hand and I said, get the cactus. But by the time he got to the front, they'd all gone. He was never one to push himself. Bless him. This world is full of sin. You can change the world. She said I'd grow up and be a missionary. I didn't have to go to what places like Africa. Wigan and Blackpool would do. 
a missionary on the home front, she said. Like when she'd been in the home guard in the war. I think the war was still happening in her head. We lived in a state of emergency. We were waiting for the second coming, and somehow I had to persuade Jesus to hurry up. start to my new ministry here at our church. Hallelujah. Uh, I hope to get to know you all over the coming weeks. I was led here by God. His flag was flying on this building. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you, Miss Dewsbury on piano, our musical director. That was my role, of course. I'm self-taught pastor. Miss Dewsbury likes to be known as a professional. <laughs> I teach music at the local school, pastor, so I hope I can bring something to our choirs and hymn singing. I'm quite new to the church, too. She used to be a Methodist. Well, God forgives us our mistakes. Now, who... Uh, oh, oh. Who have we here playing a tambourine solo? I may. Just may. It says in the Bible, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You're certainly doing that, May. Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Shall we sing together? God has blotted them out. My favourite. Pastor, uh, excuse me, Pastor. I'm Mrs White. I sing the harmonies, contralto and uh, baritone. And what do your friends call you, Mrs White? Mrs White? Don't forget our oldest member, Pastor. I'm Elsie Norris, Pastor. You'll have to speak up because I'm deaf. What happened to your hearing aid, Elsie? I've lost my glasses, so I can't pick it up where I put it down. You don't need a hearing aid when you've got Jesus. What? Amen. Amen. I know we will all want to welcome Pastor Spratt. He comes to us specially from Morecambe, where he will still be the pastor in charge at the Morecambe Guest House for the Bereaved. Oh, thank you, Connie, for this Bible welcome and for this... Uh, a bountiful supply of finger sandwiches. Mm. Um, I see we have. Mm. Oh, egg and crash. Oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. oh fish paste. Mm. Mm. Oh, corned beef and and onion. Oh. Jam and cream. Cheese triangles. Well, mm. pickle and jelly. You, oh. you can eat them one by one, Pastor. She won't be offended. Mm. You can tell a good woman by her sandwiches. Pastor Spratt has a special expertise in demon possession. Oh. And sexual perversion. Perversion! Morecambe, Wigan, Fleetwood. I had my honeymoon in Fleetwood. Hey, be quiet when the pastor's speaking. Oh. Blackpool. You'd expect it in Blackpool, but demon possession is everywhere, mm. even amongst the faithful. Mm. Yes, even among the flock. Men, watch your wives. Oh. Women, watch your children. Watch even our young youngest member, this, this little Lily. My name's not Lily. Even this little Lily of the valley could be a house of demons. That's a bit strong, Pastor. I speak as I find, Elsie. Experience. Little girl, have you ever seen a demon? What do they look like? Oh, they can come in any colour, any shape, any size. Wild laughter. Suspicious smells. That's my husband on a Saturday night. Oh, is he not a believer, May? Uh, in the bottle, yes. The demon drink. How old are you, little girl? This is little Jeanette. She belongs to me. I'm seven. Oh, a blessed number. The seven days of creation. The seven-branched candlestick. The seven seals. What did they eat? Who? The seven seals. It doesn't mean seals like in the sea. He means seals like in sealing wax. How blessed and how cursed! The demon can return sevenfold! <gasps> I appear to have broken the communion table. I'll take it home for William to mend. Shall we sing? Cheer up, 
Ye saints of God. I think we should. Everyone on their feet. <laughs> Cheer up, ye saints of God. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to make you feel afraid. Nothing to make you doubt. Remember, Jesus never fails. So why not trust him and shout? You'll be sorry you worried at all. Lucky to have him. He can tell he's worked abroad. I thought he was somewhat excitable in his manners. That was the power of the spirit, Miss Dewsbury. But then you were brought up as a Methodist. Too quiet for me, the Methodists. Sally Army's all right. That's where I got tambourine lessons. Can I have a tambourine? No, we've no money. Mark my words, with Pastor Spratt at the helm, there won't be a sinner left in Accrington. Is it free will you believe in? Or predestination? That's too deep for me. I believe in the Lord's will, Miss Dewsbury. Surely God gave us brains so that we can ask questions. There'll be no questions on Judgment Day, Miss Dewsbury. Only the sheep and the goats. There's a goat. Where's the goat? Everywhere a goat, goat. <laughs> oh, walk faster. What? Mrs Arkwright. Oh, what's she doing with her shop open? And with a goat on the street? She's not in Jamaica now. And on a Sunday, too. Oi! 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 Hey, Nettie Arkwright. I haven't seen Iden or Air or you at Bingo for a month. I thought they sent you back, Jamaica. No, I go with me on accord. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> no, no, don't worry about me, darling. I'm here, I tell you. I love living in the motherland. Business is good, me. Mm -hmm. The English are so filthy. Cockroaches, rats, mice, weevils, <laughs> silverfish, bedbugs. You breed them, I'll kill them. I just finished painting my new sign. Here, take a look. A rat in one corner, a cockroach at the bottom, arc rights for vermin. Is that bed bugs around the edge? Yes, all my own work. I was an art teacher in Jamaica, you know. It was when I come to England, I had to go cleaning houses. I found out how filthy you English are, and I saw my business opportunity. If it runs, jumps, slithers, gnaws, or scutters, I can kill it for you. Come on in for a cup of tea and a slice of pineapple. I'm not eating foreign fruit. We have to be getting home, Mrs. Arkwright. It's the Lord's Day. Little Jeanette, do you want to see my golden hamster? She's got a dog. This hamster was living wild with the rats in the biscuit factory. Is the hamster made of gold? Come and see for yourself. You don't need a hamster when you've got Jesus. Why have you got a goat? In the Bible, there's the sheep and the goats. And the sheep are with Jesus, and the goats are cast out. My goats are in the backyard for milk and for food. I got one in the pot today. You want some? In Jamaica, if I say I'm cooking a goat, the whole island is on the doorstep. English is standoffish. It gets a little bit lonely. Only Jesus can end our loneliness. Then what God made the world full of people for? We should all be friends and neighbours. Oh, that is a good point. You're too easily led, Miss Dewsbury. Would you like us to sit with you and read the Bible? No. Uh, I'll stop me, Annette. Uh, and try a bit of goat. I could do with some help with the football pools. You've always got a good nose. It's my voodoo powers, <laughs> darling. <laughs> I don't want to discuss black magic. <laughs> I thought you'd given up the betting shop, me. It's a terrible waste of money. I've come to an arrangement with the Lord. If I win, I give him 10%. Come inside. We'll have a Guinness. Guinness and goat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come on, down. Oh. on a Sunday, too. I don't know about me. She's not holy. But William was a terrible gambling man when you met him. Mm, and that's not all he was. The times I've thrown my wedding ring into the gutter and got the bus to Blackburn. Hitting you, was it? No, no, he was making advances. Well, he's your husband. I said, I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll stand by you for better or for worse. But I'm not doing that. Never. Come here. Jesus changed him. Now you wouldn't know he got one. Got what? Leave that to the Lord. Yes, he's a changed man. He doesn't smoke or drink or spend a penny on himself. We're saving up for a bathroom sweet. Cleanliness is next to godliness. We can all have a strip wash, Miss Dewsbury. That's what a flannel is for. I wasn't casting aspersions. I... I... <laughs> Satan and my next door neighbours. 
<laughs> Have you no room for Jesus? We're not taking lodgers just now, love. <laughs> These things are sent to try us. <laughs> little time with me We've time for a word of prayer. Just let me light the gas oven. Little Jeanette, put this two shillings in the meter. Then I can get the cabbage on. Oh, no cabbage, no dinner. The Lord will help it simmer. Who poetry is it now, Miss Dewsbury? I prefer prayer. Amen. Remember, William's been on night, so if either of you feel filled with the spirit and need to cry out, oh. don't do it in the direction of the front bedroom. I can hear funny noises. What is it? <sighs> Nothing. Very likely they beat their cat. Shall I play the piano? Something noisy. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? Well, whatever they're doing, it's not holy. Drunk all day, drunk all night. All the clothes, second hand. They've moved here from Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> Probably on the run. Drugs. Murder. I know the Bible tells us to turn the other cheek, but there are only so many cheeks in a day. <gasps> They're fornicating. Get off me, is! On a Sunday. Jeanette. Here's half a crown. Go and get a coronet for yourself, a wafer for Mrs White and a chalk ice for your mother. Go on. Oh, oh that ice cream van was sent by God. Praise the Lord. Miss Dewsbury, the in books on top of the piano. Page 43. Yield not to temptation. I have it, I have it. Mrs White, you be the baritone. Right, I'll do you 99 for same money as Garnet. Do you want blood on it? <laughs> Raspberry sauce. Yes, please. The fornicating next door. Excuse me? You dropped me ice cream. Fornicating. What does it mean? I can't rightly say. Well, I know it's a sin, but why is it so noisy? Most sins you do quietly so as not to get caught. Is that what they call it in Birmingham? But, wi William, how dare you come downstairs in your pyjamas? You might as well be naked. Get some clothes on. They've gone out into the backyard. I can see their heads bobbing over the wall. Oh, he's not got his shirt on. Oh, don't look. He's covered in spots all over his chest, his back, his stomach. His... Oh. Is he wearing underpants? Don't look. Oh. The Lord help me. Sing the chorus. I'll go into battle like David and Goliath. Are you Goliath? No. You don't Joe's. I know what you need, but you'll have to pay for it. <laughs> spots. There must be a bit in the Bible about spots. What a squeeze them, do you? The Lord will smite you with the boils of Egypt. Hallelujah. And with the ulcers and the scurvy and the itch. Of which you cannot be cured. Oh. He will carry you through. The book of Deuteronomy. Victory for the Lord. <laughs> the day that you defeated the heathen. Hey, little Jeanette, that's your mother for you. <gasps> All the time I knew them, my mother got up when my father went to bed and my father went to bed when my mother got up. She liked the nights, listening to missionary broadcasts from behind the Iron Curtain, baking dry biscuits in the shape of Scotty dogs, reading the Bible. She taught me to read from the book of Deuteronomy because it is full of animals, mostly unclean. While other children had a world of rabbits, bunnies, ducks, I had oopoos, rock badgers, sloths and all the seafood the Jews couldn't eat. She drew them in biro, blue for lobsters, red for the scaly back crab. How many legs is a crab? Not that many. Cut two off. 
Why don't you go to school? It's a breeding ground. What's a breeding ground? It, it's like the sink would be if I didn't put bleach down it. Will the children go to school? Put the crab in the sea. That's the blue flannel. You, you're not like other children. Jesus gave you to me and I've given you back to Jesus. You'll be a missionary when you grow up. But you are going to school. When? Soon. I've had a letter. Somebody spied on us. But I'll still teach you at home. It'll still be you and me and Jesus. Oh, that coal bucket needs filling up. Shall I read you another chapter of Jane Eyre? Is Mr Rochester dead? No, but he deserves to be. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. Do you remember? Rochester's wife, Bertha, the mad one, is locked in the attic. He's made sinful advances to Jane Eyre, who's only got one dress because she's poor. She's gone away to stay with that godly minister of religion, St John Rivers and his family. Does it have an happy ending? Wait and see. I'm not expecting visitors. Shall I run up the back alley and peep round the corner and tell you it is? Not today. I'll answer it. It might be the man from the council about getting a bathroom suite put in. But then we won't have to go outside to the toilet. I don't like spiders. It's supposed to be an improvement, but I don't like the thought of emptying my bowels in the house. All right, all right. It's not the second coming. Give me my Bible in case it's the Mormons. You? How dare you show your face at this house? Have you no shame? Shh, Lassie, I can't take it. Is she all right? Why should you care? You abandoned her. I was her. 17, have some pity. The Lord gave her to me. Just let me see Get her. Get away from this house. You call yourself a Christian. I'm her mother. <gasps> She's mine. Don't cry. Was that my real mother? <laughs> Listen to me. Are you listening to me, are you? I'm your real mother. She was the carrying case. Do you hear? <laughs> hmm, we have a new girl in class today. And she's going to tell us what she did this weekend. Stand up. Don't be shy. Um, our church has a healing of the sick meeting. May said her leg was loose, but when we prayed for it, it wasn't loose anymore. Pastor Spratt said that most people are sick because they're being tormented by demons. What you have to do is drive the demons out and everything's all right again. <laughs> I see. And how do you drive out the demons? You have to pray all night and you need a lot of water. Is that all? I think so. I don't like school. I haven't got any friends. Why ever not? I told them all they were going to well. Oh, well, that might have been a bit sudden. Eh, hey, let's have some cake. Is it the same cake as last time? Fruit cake keeps for years. Why, why, why are you yawning? I can't go to sleep. At night, I mean. Oh? Well, I think about school, and then Mum's doing drill. What's drill? That's the last trump. That's the signal. That bit... Right, that's right. Now we go under the stairs. What time is it? There'll be no time in eternity. It's half past three in the morning. Right. In we go. I've lit the paraffin lamp. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. What were you doing? <laughs> Listening to Ivan Popov from behind the Iron Curtain. Can I go back to bed now? Can you hear the four horsemen of the apocalypse? That's their roof beats on the floor of heaven. Here they come. Eyes sharp as stars. Wings as wide as the universe. They'll carry off the just and the unjust alike. But the just will be taken up through the winds of time until the wind drops the way it does when we get behind the monument on the coppice and everything is still. That stillness... 
is the stillness of God. And that peace is the peace of God. Peace that passeth all understanding. And the horses bow their heads. Little Jeanette, have you gone back to sleep? It must be the spirit. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sleep in chair. I'll not wake her. I'll sit here, put this shawl over her. At school, I tried to save everyone from eternal damnation. And I tried not to do country dancing. We didn't live in the country, and we never got invited to dances. It was the same with French. We were never going to France, and nobody speaks French in Blackpool. When our teacher told us to bring in the ingredients to make a French dressing, Elsie gave me some bandages and elastoplast. Why do you have to be different? the teacher kept saying. And Mum said, Don't be like the other children. We're called to be apart. So I spent my playtime and dinner time, sitting on a railing on my own and wondering if animals went too well. After a bit, I stopped listening to what people said to me. Their mouths opening and shutting like goldfish. And the world went quiet. Like when it snows. And at the second coming we shall not all sleep, but we shall be raised. Amen. Amen. The Lord. And before the second coming there will be signs and wonders, portents of the end of time, natural disasters, floods and fires, terror, wars and famine. As nation fights against nation, brother against brother, the sun shall be darkened, the moon will give no light, the stars will go out, and Satan will claim his birthright, this earth. The beast and the whore of Babylon will have dominion. But there will be miracles too. The healing of the sick, the return of the prophets, and the spirit in our midst. And in the body of a little child, the spirit is in our midst today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Little Jeanette is seven. Her mother tells me she has not heard a word in seven days. The Lord has closed her ears to the things of the world and is filling her mind with visions and testimony. Seven is a holy number. I ask her today to tell us what she has heard from the world of rapture. Speak to us of the things of the Spirit. If she can't hear, how will she know what you're saying? Well, she can hear Jesus, and Jesus is speaking through me. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Speak in the name of the Lord. Write it down. Write down what you want to know. 
She can read. I taught her myself. Oh, who's got a barrow? Yeah, well, thank you, Mrs. White. Um, now, uh, tell us what you can hear from the Lord. Oh, she's reading it. <gasps> Nothing. Nothing? It must be a vision, then. Tell us what you can see. You can tell she's in a state of rapture. She's covered in beads of sweat. Oh, that's the power of the Lord, too much to be contained. We'll sing, and that will encourage you. Everybody on your feet, while I was sleeping. I'll play. flat. What's happening? We're witnessing the spirit manifest in little Jeanette. She looks shocking. She's red in the face. She's got white spots and she's sweating. Jesus is here! Falling over. She's in a state of rapture. She's unconscious. It's the spirit of the Lord. Let me through. Let me through, I say. Little Jeanette, have you all lost your wits? This child isn't filled with the spirit. She's ill. Thank you, Miss Dewsbury, but I know my own child. I always said you were better off with the Methodists. I'm going to the phone box. This child needs to be in hospital. Your daughter has an acute adenoidal blockage. Look at her neck. She's like Frankenstein's monster with those bolts either side. We'll get the swelling down overnight and we'll whip them out in the morning. All fun and games. Why did you not take her to the doctor? She never said she was ill. Why didn't you say you were ill? She can't hear you. Let's <laughs> pop her into bed. Uh, and you can come and see her tomorrow after the operation. Goodbye, little Jeanette. We'll all be praying for you. Oh, don't cry. Why is she crying? It's quite all right to give her a cuddle. She doesn't have the plague. I don't want to make her temperature worse. Here's Teddy. Here's my beeper. Nurse will be along soon. You're quite welcome to stay a while. We've got a missionary meeting at church. I understand. Thanks for coming round, Jane. I feel like such a fool. That little child. You must think me cruel, Jane. I, 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 I knew she was struggling. But children see everything bigger than it is, don't they? Oh, it's easy to get carried away. Don't blame yourself. The pastor was so certain. That's what he is. Certain. I sometimes think that half the problems in the world are caused by people being certain. You're not doubting your faith, are you, Jane? No. But isn't there more than one way of reading the Bible? Oh, I'm not as hard line as Pastor. Or oh, Mrs White. Oh, Connie. That's why we're friends, Elsie. They didn't like me much before this happened, and they'll like me even less now I was right about the child. Not at all. Connie loves that child. She'll thank you from the bottom of her heart. We'll go in and visit tomorrow, after the operation. At least she'll get a couple of weeks off school. Oh, that's not going well, is it? I, mean, I try and keep a low profile and I'm not part of the junior school, but I hear enough chain stitch and cross stitch in the sewing class. You can't go far wrong with embroidery. Well, that depends on what you embroider. The other children were making simple samplers to Mother with Love, My Name is Joan, that kind of thing. Little Jeanette made The Summer is Ended and We Are Not Yet Saved. Eh, well, she's not like other children. How could she be? Oh, it's not easy being different, I know that. It's her calling. Still, I think she should have won the hyacinth growing competition. <laughs> what? She came running into me after school one day, like a whirlwind, 
all excited, shouting. Elsie, Elsie! What on earth is the matter? Tearing in here like Judgment Day. School, there's a competition and I want to win it. But you have to have two hyacinth bulbs and we can't afford them, Mum says. Let's look in the tin. Oh, yes. We can afford the bulbs and I've got a pot and we can get some soil out of the flower bed in the backyard. Come on, I'll take you downtown. Hey, but walk a bit slower. Mum, Mum! Egg and chips for tea, but not till I finish grouting these tiles. I ate pink, but they were cheap. I've got the hyacinth bulbs, two of them, look. So I see. Mrs White, would you mix this grout again? It's lumpy. I've never mixed grout before. I've never tiled a bathroom sweet before, but the Lord will guide us. I'll read the instructions again. Mix one, Mum! What do you want? An airing cupboard. We've only just had the grant from the council for this bathroom. Your dad's fitted the bath and basin. I'm doing the tiling with Mrs White. And we're waiting for the plumber to manage the toilet and immersion heater. Then we'll have an airing cupboard. How will I grow me hyacinths? It says they have to be somewhere warm and dark and an airing cupboard's best. You don't need an airing cupboard when you've got Jesus. Still here, Jeanette. Everyone's gone home. Off you go. I was looking at the hyacinths. Yes. No Sisters was a beautiful winner. Why didn't mine win? Yours? The hyacinth on the left's a big bite out of it. Well, I had to grow them under the gas oven. The mice ate that one. It was a large mouse. Yeah, it was. Dad caught it, but it was too late. I think it's time to go home. Well, that's why I called me hyacinths Mary and Elizabeth at the Annunciation. The one with the bite out of it's Mary. She's frightened. You'd be frightened if an angel appeared under the stairs. I don't think the Annunciation took place under the stairs. That's where we do our drill for the second coming. Who was runner-up? Winning doesn't matter. Why'd you give prizes then? Prizes then? Prizes then? Prizes then? Wake up, little Jeanette. You're better now. You've got no adenoids, but you're better. Connie, do you ever think about the resurrection of the body? If I must... I'll not be sorry to see this body go, and I'll not be glad to get it back. Will we get the bits back that we've lost along the way? I mean, little Jeanette's adenoids have been incinerated. Most people will have had more than their adenoids incinerated. Everybody wants to be cremated these days. It's a fashion from India, like going about in bare feet and wearing beads. <gasps> Hippies, you mean. There's a love and peace stall on Accrington Market now. I mean, what does Accrington want with love beads and joystick? It's all predicted in the Book of Revelation, mm. May. Whoring after false gods. Mm. <gasps> Here she is. Oh. Eyes open. Feel better? I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. You must be disappointed to be back. Everybody was in white coats and hats. And the man patted the woman and said she was an angel. But you don't pat angels, do you? Here's Dr. Dishish. Well, he is good looking, isn't he? Oh. How are we feeling then? A little bit sore at the back? All fun and games. Here's Nurse with some jelly for you. She's an angel. That's what you said when you patted her bottom. <laughs> I thought it died because everybody was wearing white. Ooh, we try and keep as many of our patients alive as we can, all fun and games. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> My beeper. Nurse, this way. Elsie! Hello, everybody. Hello, little un. That jelly looks nice. Look, we fetched you some oranges. Nice and juicy, fresh from Spain. They were dear, too. Jane paid for them. Well, I have a salary. Oh, I like an orange. Can't afford them, usually. Do you mind if I have one? Peel away. We'll all have one. Connie? Oranges are not the only fruit. I prefer an honest English apple. Half the price. Suit yourself. Hey, where are you going? Prayer meeting. I'd have thought you'd be going too. No, I'm sitting here with little Jeanette. Read her a story. What's that? Jane Eyre? No, 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 no. I'm... I mean, I, I'm reading that to her. That that particular book in uh, particular. When are at the bit where Jane Eyre marries St. John Rivers and they go off and do missionary work, aren't we, Mum? Hmm. I beg your pardon? Did you just say St. John Rivers marries Jane Eyre? Must be off. Come on, May. Oh. Jesus will look after little Jeanette. <laughs> 
Jesus can't read it a story. I've got this book about King Arthur and the Round Table from the library at school. So you do. Where shall I start? Anywhere. Oh, no, here. Sir Percival. <laughs> Sir Percival is the youngest of Arthur's knights. He was brought up in a wood by his mother. She didn't want him to be a knight. She wanted her only child to stay with her forever. But one day, one day, when Percival was gathering wood in the forest for his mother's fire, he saw a company of glittering knights in shining armour. The sun struck the polished metal and lit up the men like angels. The light dazzled Percival. He had never seen the sun so glorious as when it shone on these nights. They seemed to be made of sunlight. And then there were the horses, plumed, slow, their polished saddles sitting on cloth of gold. The reds nodding in agreement with the sun. One of the knights removed his helmet and smiled at the boy. Who are you? asked Percival. The knights of the round table came the reply. Can I come with you? asked Percival. Think carefully, said the knight, whose name was Garwain. Once you leave this place, you will not know how to return. Dragons are dead. Yeah. Here we are. The Morecambe Guest House for the Bereaved. A haven for the faithful to grieve and be comforted, to pray and meet with the Lord, to listen to the still, small voice of God. And all at half price until July. I heard they were mowed out with funerals. There were funerals, yes, but there's always a lag between dying and bereavement. It takes time to sink in. I thought we could take advantage of the discount, and perhaps we all need a little holiday. Yes. I've left William a hot pot and an egg custard. I'll drop you here while I take the glory bus to the garage. The loudspeaker's not working right. Listen, when I call out... Jesus is your saviour! <laughs> you sound like Bugs Bunny. Shh. No. Out of the mouth of babes, it's true. There must be something wrong with the uh, valves. I like Morecambe. I wish we could have our summer tent crusade in Morecambe. This world is not our home, Connie. Not even Morecambe. We must go where the sinners are. And that's Blackpool. It is. Let me take your case in for you, Pastor. Little Jeanette, you run in. I'll be along. These boots are made for... That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Hello, hello, hello. Who's this then? Let me turn this wireless off. You must be little Jeanette, Connie's daughter. I am. Mum's unpacking her suitcase. And you were at school. Did Mum go to school? Of course she did. She was always top of the class. She could have gone to college, but we didn't go to college in those days. We got married. I don't want to get married. Try and keep your own money. That's the trick. Oh, your mother will be surprised to see me. Tell her Louis's here. Louis. I've got the contract for this place doing the wreaths for the funerals. Have you ever seen a dead body? No. Nothing to be frightened of. No unexpected movements. Not like mice. I hate mice. Here. Do you want to give me a hand? What a lot of flowers. Well, there's a lot of funerals this week. It's always the same in April. Folks hang on through the winter wanting to see the spring. Spring comes and bam, they drop dead. Is that going to be a dog? Yeah. First, you make a wire frame and then you add foliage. Foliage means leaves. I like doing something different. There's too many crosses in this game. Here, wrap this round that. I need to empty that bucket. Roof's been leaking all week. So, what do you think your mother would like for her funeral? You know the bit at the end of the Bible where the devil gets thrown into the fiery pit and the world's blown up? I don't think I could do justice to the apocalypse as a flower arrangement. Still religious, is she? That's how she got me. 
From God. Well, I think it were only the Virgin Mary who managed that. We had to get a licence. A licence is for dogs. There's a piece of paper in the tall boy where we keep the bath salts. I found it. It says I'm not a mental detective. Defective? And I've got no coloured blood in me, which isn't true because it's red. So you're not your mother? Yes, I am. Of course, course you are. Yeah, I was talking to myself. Come on, I'll show you how to plait ivy. You get this strand here. Little Jeanette! Here I am. Louie! Connie! Well? Well? I didn't know they were employing unbelievers. You don't have to believe in God to work in the funeral business. Why don't you believe in God? We haven't time for that now. I'm taking her to the sands. The rally's starting. You make it sound like Formula One. It's the race to Jesus, and those who get left behind will go to hell. You were always one to speak your mind, Connie. Here, little un, here's some flags to put in a sandcastle. England, Ireland, France and Spain... And America, the stars and stripes. Thank you. Look, Mum. Go on, then. Take them with you. But we're here to save souls, not play out. I'll help you when I come back, Louis. Bye. So, you got a family. I married William. William? When I left Accrington, you were caught in Eddie. He was a catch. William's a good man. He works hard all the shifts he can at English Electric. You were going to be a teacher. You were going to teach French. It's all coming back to me now. You got a scholarship to the grammar school. I was that jealous, but you never went. My father thought I'd be better working in the business. That's right, at the garage. They did all the day trips on the coaches and the Blackpool Illuminations and the Southport Flower Show. Yes. Do you arrange the coaches out here, then, for the church? My brother inherited the business. I didn't get a penny. I see. I'm sorry. Here, hold the end of this ribbon, will you? God has his reasons for everything. I don't look back. I've got little Jeanette. Is she your only one? Yes. She's my joy. Sir Percival, the youngest of the knights, waits on the seashore. Always the seashore. Waiting for a boat, for a sail, for a tide, for a wind. Where to? He doesn't know. All he knows is that he must go. He's the visible corner of a folded map. I will perform a baptismal service at three o'clock this afternoon in Morecambe Bay. For anyone who wants to give their life to Jesus. Catch their death a cold. Don't criticise the pastor, Elsie. I'm too old not to speak as I find. Would you like to go indoors, Elsie? Oh, that would be very kind, Jane. A cup of tea would do me good. Oh, here's my favourite little one. You've, you, you've got flags. Hello, Elsie. Hello, Miss Dewsbury. Oh, can I blow your trumpet? No, dear. I don't want sand and spit in it. I'm going on tour next week with the Salvation Symphony Orchestra. I'll be away a little while. It'll do me good. Still struggling, Jane. I am. Why are you crying? No, oh, it's just the wind. I'm a little bit upset, that's all. Because I had to say goodbye to somebody. Somebody I love. If you love somebody, why do you have to say goodbye? Steady, Jane. Steady. They were coming between me and the Lord. Sometimes you have to make a choice. Oh, the wind's in my eyes. I can't see. I'll go inside. Jane, where? Here's the pastor. We'll pray for you. Oh, she's gone. Highly strong. Women. Nerves. And she lives alone. Dark shadows surround us, but Jesus is light. I I'll go to her. I need you here for the baptisms, Elsie. I'm going to get into my swimming trunks now. There's no one on the sands except us. It's, it's too cold. Faith, Elsie. Faith can move mountains. Faith can raise the dead. That wouldn't be good for business up at the guest house for the bereaved. If their loved one comes back from the dead, they'll all go home. Don't pray too hard, Pastor. <laughs> Take no notice of them, Pastor. Shall I look after your dressing gown? You're as good as my right hand, Mrs White. Oh. 
We'll be back soon, ladies. Oh, she's the one, that Mrs White. I reckon she fancies her chances. With the pastor? Well, she's a widow. If my Tony died, I'd be a merry widow. What would you do? Go on a cruise. No way. I've had it with Morecambe. Why don't you like Tony? Well, I'll tell you a story. Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, a lovely girl finds herself at a mysterious castle in the arms of a beast, but it has a happy ending. Is the Beast really a prince in disguise? Yes, he's under a spell. It's the same with frogs. You have to kiss him. In my case, I married a pig. Get away with you. A real pig? Piggy eyes, piggy skin, piggy snore, eats like a pig, fat as a pig. If you kiss him, he'll turn into a prince. <laughs> he's slow at it then. <laughs> but then he's slow at everything. Happen. I should have married that frog. Better odds. When you kiss him, what happens? To me or to him? Steady on. There's no fairy stories in real life, Nipper. Pigs stay pigs. There'll be a mansion in the sky with your name on the gate. That's not too bad. Maybe in all there will. While I'm waiting for me mansion, we can build a sandcastle. We've got no bucket. We can use my hat as a bucket. Help me kneel down. I, oh, I hope the tide don't come in. It's the support stockings. <laughs> you can't bend your knees. I can bend my knees. Not your knees, my knees. <laughs> oh! ah! Look at Pasta in his swimming trunks. <laughs> it's like one of those before and after adverts. Before. Don't laugh. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Here comes Mrs. White with the dressing gown. <laughs> What are you doing on your hands and knees? You should be on the prom asking people if they want to be baptised. Of course they don't want to be baptised. It's freezing. What's in that door? Vic ointment. I'm putting on Pastor's chest to keep him warm. He's like Jesus waiting to baptise the faithful in the Sea of Galilee. It was warm in the New Testament. There's nothing in the New Testament about Vic ointment or swimming trunks. Well, we'll have to manage without you then. The Lord can see everything. Thing. In them swimming trunks, so can I! <laughs> Good night, Louis. Good night. Hey, I might be seeing you in Accrington. I'm thinking of going into business with the undertaker there. Here we are. Put a hot water bottle in your bed. Oh, what a day with Jesus. Five people saved, one baptised. Is that the man they took to hospital? Yeah. I'll put him on my prayer list. Right, get into bed. You can read for ten minutes. What are you reading? A uh, book about missionary work called Other Continents Know Him Too. I'm reading about how Arthur was the only person who could pull the sword from the stone. Even though he was young and not very strong. You should be reading the Bible. It's like a Bible story. I suppose it is. I read it myself a long time ago. You didn't tell me that. I don't tell you everything. I wish I was a knight. <laughs> they never find it. What? The Holy Grail. Nobody ever does. You look for it all your life, but you never find it. When a night won his spurs In the stories of old He was gentle and brave He was gallant and bold With a shield on his arm And a lance in his hand For God and for valour He rode through the land No charger have I and no sword by my side Yet still to adventure And battle I ride Though back into storyland Giants have fled And the knights are no more And the dragons are dead She's growing up You can't stop them why would you want to stop her growing up? Sin. This world is full of sin. She'll have to make her own way. Watch and pray. The Lord sees all. God gave her to me. Mom! Mom! Oh, what are you 
shouting about like a heathen child. I'm not a child, I'm 16. Can I go and stay with Melanie tonight? Please. In part one of Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. Mrs. Winterson was played by Leslie Sharp. Little Jeanette by Eleanor Worthington Cox. Jeanette by Katie West. Miss Dewsbury, Pauline Lynch. Mrs. White, Susan Jameson. May, A.D. Allen. Elsie Norris was played by Angela Pleasance. Louis by Claire Cage. Mrs. Arkwright, Vicky Licorice. The Man, Sam Ricks and Pastor Spratt was played by Vincent Franklin. The pianist was David Thomas. Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit was adapted for radio by Jeanette Winterson from her own novel. It was a BBC Cymru Wales production directed by Helen Perry.